throughout the states that don't have access to legal cannabis have a bigger problem with their teens being on Delta 8 and Delta 10 products. That's because if your state has legal access to cannabis, why would you ever use Delta 8 or 10? It doesn't make any sense. The weed doesn't even taste good. Anyway, that's what the problem is, is that they don't have legal access. So if you're real concerned about Delta 8 and Delta 10, just legalize cannabis and it just goes away. Also in news, the group suing Merrick Garland in Massachusetts over the unconstitutionality of cannabis prohibition. That group, including Wiseacre Farms and Verano Holdings, they were supposed to have the hearing in December, but both parties have agreed to extend that hearing another month because of holiday reasons. If they're able to do what they're trying to do, they'll be able to wipe out the federal prohibition, which is a huge problem for a number of reasons, including dispensaries not have access to banking and people being put in prisons and a number of other things. In any event, they're going to have a month off to enjoy the holidays before they get back to figure out if we can overturn the federal unconstitutional war against cannabis. Also, the news, a federal think tank determines that the federal government can be generating $8.5 billion a year if they had legal cannabis. They're thinking that they can generate three times as much money as the states who have legal cannabis. And they're saying that if we had the ability to tax all of the cannabis, we could bring in a lot more money to fund wars. Thanks for watching The Walk Daily.